Welcome in everybody, I am Dust Tulip, and in today's video we are going to be breaking down everything HD here in the Where's UK mod of 7 Days to Die. So if you enjoy 7 Days to Die content, Where's UK mod, go ahead and subscribe and like the video so you know when the next video goes live. Now, let's get into this. Alright, so looking at HD schematics, let's, let's go into cheat mode so I can... I could show you a little bit better here. Um, so if we, uh, I mean, I'm sure that there's easier ways to do this, but for, for normal vanilla materials, when it comes to schematics, it's just gonna show the item and then you're gonna have this like book icon up in the corner. For all the HD schematics, you'll find them on these clipboards. So that's how you know the difference between what is specific to Where's UK and what is coming in from, you know, vanilla seven days to die. Uh, you'll also recognize it if you've played vanilla and you're like, what the hell is this thing? So, so in order to get these schematics, there's several, several ways to do it. You're going to find these, these schematics in boxes while you're doing quests. You're going to find them in, uh, bookcases. Bookcases are a fantastic source of these schematics. So all the areas that you would go to in vanilla that have a bunch of bookcases in them, whether it's the crack a book warehouses, whether it's crack a book HQ, the basement of the churches where all the bookcases are there, they're, they're all throughout. One of the best places in, where, in Where's UK though, to find bookcases is the four person underground trader post. So in this post, you will find a total of 24 bookcases. Uh, there's also some uh, crates in there that are normally locked where you go other places, but and, and here they're unlocked, so you have some training to do. But um, there are four secured areas underneath each of the staircases, and each of them have eight bookcases in uh, in each one of them. So actually, my math my math is extra gooder. That's actually uh, 32 bookcases, not 24. Uh, so yeah, that, that's an excellent place, especially early on to find schematics, not only vanilla, but also the HD schematics. Uh, on top of that, there are also several HD workbenches, one of which will be helpful for schematics. And it is this one. Now you might be asking yourself, Tulip, what the hell are you doing here? Why is it backwards? That is because there is some not safe for Twitch or YouTube or work or anything like that images on the front side of this workbench. So I usually go ahead and block it in so you can't, you can't even see it around the side just for safety precautions. And these are the other three workbenches, but we'll get to those in a second. So this is the pick workbench. We're not gonna go into it just yet because there's also uh, some NSFW posters that you can make in this workbench. I, I will tell you how to make it though. You need 55 iron, 25 mechanical parts, 12 polymer and five spring, and that will make it for you. Now, what that is useful for is when you get these schematics, so say you, you got these schematics here. These are HD schematics. And what you could do once you've learned them and they have the little open book icon up in the top left hand corner there, you can scrap them. Okay. So if you scrap them down, you will get back. Scrap schematics, scrap schematics. Fantastic. You can get all of these and then you can use them in this bench in order to basically make the schematics for other items that you have not found yet. Okay, so use those uh, HD schematics that you've already found and used to get these schematic scraps so that you're able to get other items that are maybe a little bit harder to find. My only other tip with this is separate them out. Okay, so we have 13 schematics here. Let's, let's just scrap those and they'll give you nine. Separate all, out all your schematics uh, so that you get additional ones. Um, so for instance, let's pick that back up and let's, uh, let's go back into our inventory. And if we drop one in each of these, and then we scrap, 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 we will get the same amount back. But if we leave them in a stack, you're gonna get hosed. 
All right, so just make sure you separate them out so you get more schematic uh, scraps back. Now, so once you get 20 scrap schematics, you can use those to craft any HD schematic that you want. And going through the quests and all of that stuff, there are certain ones that you're definitely going to want in order to advance through the game. That's the pick bench. That covers pretty much all there is to that. Now, let's talk about these three bad boys. We have the HD workbench. We have the HD gun bench and we have the HD ammo bench. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at each of those. Again, it's the same materials to create all of them. Iron, mechanical parts, polymer, and spring uh, for all four of these HD workbenches. There are, for the uh, HD workbench, the gun bench, and the ammo bench, there are inserts that go into them, not unlike the, the forges and the campfires, in order to do specific things. For instance, if we take a look in here, we have the tool and die set. This is for HD truck elevators and for select materials uh, in the HD workbench. We have the sewing kit, which is extremely important for making HD military gear and for making those HD polymers so that you can make the hazmat suit for one of your, your quests. Uh, and then we also have the welder, which again, there's select materials that you need that for in order for you to use them or in order for you to make them rather. Now, looking uh, down below here, I went ahead and selected some of my favorite HD items that you're able to get through this. First off, the HD auger and the HD chainsaw, they put the regular auger and chainsaw to shame. They are fantastic, fantastic. You have the HD blade traps, which are much tougher than the regular blade traps, and you have the HD Tesla fences. The Tesla fences are by far, when it comes to Horde Knight, are by far one of the most important items. There are still some things to get through them, don't get me wrong, but one of the most important items that you can get. We have the HD impact driver. Not unlike the regular impact driver that you find in vanilla, uh, not only does this go faster than that impact driver, but it's also used to upgrade your base and it's faster than the nail gun. So getting one of those is awesome. The HD pump jacks. These are just uh, jacks that you could put outside your base somewhere. And every few minutes, uh, I believe it's every maybe 15 minutes or so, um, you come back and there's a barrel sitting there which will give you a bunch of materials. Uh, just random materials that you're able to pump up from the world. There are the HD forges and HD cement mixers. These uh, are much more efficient and faster than the regular forges and cement mixers. So I, I, as soon as you're able to upgrade into those, I would definitely look at that. Now, um, looking at the gun bench, uh, there are so many different guns in, in, in Where's UK that you can get. Um, not only do you need to, to the same materials to make the gun bench, but uh, it's also iron mechanical parts and springs to make, make each of the CNC machines that go into this in order to make those HD guns. My personal favorite HD guns. We have the HD Spaz 12 USA, which you get after you finish the farmer quest line. You get, you have the Colt M1911. That's my favorite pistol in this game. You have the M4A1 carbine, which is my favorite more AR in this game. And then you have things like the Vulcan, which is basically like a rail or a Gatling gun or yeah, or like a rail, you know what I'm talking about. I, uh, and and the uh, Shaytag M300 is probably one of the best sniper rifles in the game. And there's a bunch of HD attachments that go onto these uh, as well. So, so keep that in mind and, you know, and explore, explore, find, find your favorite weapons while you're going through this. Uh, it's, it's a load of fun to do. Uh, lastly, we have the HD um, ammo bench, um, which again is um, same materials to make as the others. Uh, and there are three inserts for this bad boy. You have the bullet press, which is used in the production of ammo. You have the tumbler, which is used to dismantle ammo that you don't want or need in order to get those pieces back. And then we also have the HD grinder, which uh, they, they, uh, they grind specialized items uh, up like uh, for gunpowder, uh, which is uh, super, super nice. So. One of my favorite things to do in this particular gun bunch, once I get out all the attachments and everything in, is to make the ammo bundles. Uh, it's cheaper to do than individual bullets, 
uh, and each bundle, you open it up, each bundle is 100 uh, ammo. Faster way to get ammo uh, together for you. You're, you're also able to make shocking ammo and incendiary ammo through this particular bench as well. So those are really good when you get later in the game to help kind of slow down those, those hordes that are coming towards you. Aside from that, the only other thing that I want to show you HD-wise that I enjoy immensely with this game is the, the HD working oven, which is a replacement for the fireplace. It does not need wood. It does not need wood. You can still put in your, your grill, your cooking pot, your beakers, all of that can still go in here, but you don't have to use fuel in order to do any cooking in it, which is fantastic. The working uh, water dispenser will, will fill any empty jars uh, with murky water. You also have the HD wood bars. I recommend these above the other, like the vanilla wood bars, because you can upgrade these to iron, steel, all the way up to polished titanium if you want to, um, which is a hell of a lot better than any other bars you're going to get off of vanilla. On top of that, we have the HD meat hammer, which you get after you finish the cooking class quests. I, I absolutely love the, the meat hammer. The meat hammer and the HD machete are the two best melee weapons in this game, hands down. Don't fight me on it, okay? Don't fight me on it. There are other HD items in the game, but I don't want to go through and ruin everything for you. So when, when you pull up your menu, just type in HD and take a look at all of the wonderful things that have been added into this mod and just discover what works best for you and your play styles. With that, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I, I sincerely appreciate it. If you like Seven Days to Die, Where's UK, go ahead and, and like the video, uh, subscribe, do all the click all the buttons and the things and the stuff. I also stream on Twitch. Uh, link will be down below on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, so come on by, say hi to me, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And until we see each other, stay safe, stay healthy, try to stay sane. We will catch you later.